So by having a SP experience, students are able to practice their skills before they end up out in the field. I think it takes away a lot of things like where should I sit or how should I say how far should I sit from the patient, uh, where the things are in the room, how to use the different uh, tools and equipment in the room. So I think it kind of it prepares you way better than just first patient being an actual patient. Um, it gives them an opportunity to practice a simulation so that they can effectively communicate, they can identify areas of weakness or strength, they can grow. Um, additionally, it's a huge component for our DO students to be able to pass their boards. A standardized patient is a person trained to simulate a medical problem. They are utilized to assess whether a student can apply their knowledge to a living, breathing person. This is a challenging and rewarding position, as a standardized patient, or SP as they are commonly known, juggles many different tasks. Before working with a student, the SP will memorize a script several days in advance. They will then come in to receive training on the script and ensure they understand all components of the case. The SP changes into a hospital gown and awaits their first student. Once the test starts, the SP ensures they stay in character at all times answering only the question they are asked and refraining from giving away information or deviating from the script. The student may lead the SP through a physical exam. The gown may be lowered or removed in order to facilitate the student's ability to complete the exam. All interactions with the student are recorded to facilitate the student's growth. The videos are kept in-house and may be observed by the student, faculty, appropriate staff, and other SPs in a training environment. Once the student leaves the room, the SP will assess them on the computer. This usually includes a pre-memorized history checklist, a physical exam checklist, and a humanism checklist. In many cases, the student then comes back in the room to discuss their performance with the SP, who explains what they felt from a patient perspective. They are careful to adhere to PNWU's standards for how to approach feedback. The SP then resets the room for the next round and prepares to perform the same scenario for a new student. The SPs really give us the chance to practice the hard questions that we're going to ask our patients. And in general, it just gives you the confidence to really interact with your patients on a personal level. The most rewarding aspect of being a standardized patient is seeing the students improving. When I feel I've helped the students and I see them learn and react to a positive response, it just makes me feel good, like, wow, this is great. It makes a difference, not only in their lives and their grades, but also makes a difference in the community when they do go out and be doctors. It makes a difference for me and my family when eventually we may have one of these students as a doctor uh, down the road. I feel like um, I contributed something, you know, to help make them maybe uh, a better doctor. If I help them maybe just that much, that's maybe help that they may not have got elsewhere.